Let's take a look here at Azure Alerts, and this helps us uh, be notified when there are issues found within the infrastructure or application. And this allows us to identify and address issues before the users of your system notice them. And so they come in three flavors. We've got metric alerts, log alerts, and activity log alerts. And when an alert is triggered, you can be notified or have it take action. So here is kind of the anatomy of an alert, and we have the alert rule. This defines who we should monitor, like the, the service, and uh, uh, like the, de the definition of when it is triggered, which is going to be the next part here. So a resource such as a virtual machine uh, designated as the target resource will emit signal. So it's going to be emitting a data payload. And it could be of the following types. It could be a metric, a log, activity log, application insights. You can kind of see how that ties to the types of alerts. Then you have the criteria or logical uh, tests. This gets evaluated and determines are we in a triggered state. It could be like percentage CPU greater than 70%. Then you have your action group, which contains actions, um, and those actions per, uh, will be uh, performed when it is triggered. And actions could be things like run, uh, run an automation uh, runbook, use Azure Functions, ITSM, Logic App, Webhooks, or Secure Webhook. On the other side there, we have um, this box over here, and this is all about the state of your alert. And so we have monitor condition alert state. So monitor's condition is set by the system and alert state is set by the user. But the idea that is there is so you can define where it is because you might want to uh, have a history of saying, okay, I've resolved this issue. So I'm marking this as closed and that'd be like an alert state there. Um, and so there you go.